today I'm making pinto beans and I've got a pot of water back there boiling to add to it because you don't want to add cold water to it. I've put two pounds of pinto beans in here, two large white onions chopped up, not too fine, you want them kind of chunky. I've got 12 ounces of salt pork, that's just the size that it comes in, and two cloves of garlic that I smashed up and put in there. And we're going to boil this until basically the outside of the bean, the little shell thing, uh, starts to crack and then we're going to add some spices to it. You have to taste your soup, your beans, anything like that. I haven't put much salt in here. I haven't put any salt in here actually because I'm using salt pork. And salt is one of them things you really have to taste. So make sure you have a spoon and make sure that you taste it. And if it needs salt, you add salt. But when you're using things that you know already have a lot of salt in them, it's a good idea not to add a bunch of salt at first. Now it's been about an hour. I've added a little bit of water to it and the outside of the beans is starting to kind of peel and crack what have you. So now I'm gonna add my seasoning. And I didn't wanna use, you know, generic pinto bean seasoning, so I made my own, which is two tablespoons of chili pepper, two tablespoons of paprika, and you can use smoked paprika if you want. I was going to use white pepper, but I think my son has my white pepper, so best substitute for that is black pepper. So I've got two tablespoons of black pepper and one tablespoon of cumin. And I mix that all up. It's all in here. And now I'm going to add it to it. And I'm going to stir this and we're going to cook it a while longer. Okay, now I'm going to put these on the back burner for a while. I'm going to cover them up. They're not going to need to cook too much longer, but I'm going to make some fried cornbread. And you do want to keep stirring these and make sure you scrape the bottom because they will burn on you, especially after you put the spices in there. And just keep an eye on them. Okay, now I'm frying cornbread. And I'm starting off with a little one here, just kind of to show how to do it. And it was a cup of cornmeal, about a half cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, um, teaspoon of salt. I used uh, two packets of, uh, what is that, artificial sweetener, that Splendo, whatever it is, instead of sugar, and an egg, and uh, three quarter cup of milk. And we're going to fry these up in a pan. I also chopped up a small onion and I mixed that in there with it. When you take these out of the pan, you're going to want to butter these pretty good and have you like a plate with some paper towels, something like that to stick them on because they're going to be greasy. This is an exactly health food. And put your butter on them and they are awesome. Okay, I'm frying up the last little guy here. You don't want your heat too high, kind of medium high. The beans are done. And, pardon my mess. I've got a plate of beans over here. And I've got the cornbread. You want to see what the cornbread looks like, all nice and fried up. There it is. I think that's kind of somewhere between a hush puppy and a hoe cake, but they work and thank you for watching i appreciate it and i will post the recipe in the comments i also have a patreon and please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching